so today is, as of this recording, is March 8th, uh, which is International Women's Day, even here in China. Now, I understand back in the States, you know, they, they're kind of calling it like a day without a woman, which is cool. I totally uh, support that. You know, go and uh, do the rallies and everything. But here in China, of course, there are no protests, there are no rallies. But uh, at work today, all the women got together and uh, they drank champagne and they were giving gifts and it was a, it was actually a lovely day. I'm one of the few men in my office, there's a couple of us. But work is over and now I'm freezing my ass off on the highway headed downtown. It's about a 30 kilometer ride. It's going to take about 45 minutes, maybe, maybe a little less depending on traffic. And I'm headed down to meet up with the guys. The reason being is, first of all, a couple of the guys are in uh, from out of town this week, so it's an opportunity to see them again. But all of my friends who do live downtown, their wives and girlfriends are out with their friends uh, for Women's Day. So they were at home alone, so we said, screw it, let's all get together and have a dude's night. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go have some late night barbecue and some beers. I'm gonna stay downtown. I, I got a little hotel I'm checked into, a pretty cheap one, and uh, I got tomorrow off so that I can sleep off my potential hangover. But uh, in the meantime, I gotta get down there, and it's not the safest uh, evening. It's cold, it's a little bit rainy, although it's not raining right now, and uh, it's very dark. It's about 9.30 at night, riding on the highway <laughs> in China on my little e-bike. Uh, wish me luck! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I made it. <laughs> Alright, well, we had a great time tonight. Um, it's only about 1 a.m. It wasn't too late of a drinking night. Sometimes we stay out much later, but it being Women's Day, uh, the wives of all my friends kind of said, hey, come home. So uh, they all left with their wives, and uh, I checked into my hotel. I had a good night, great food. Good to see all the friends again. Those who are from out of town coming and stay for a week. And uh, the hotel's very nice, actually. It's not a very expensive one either. And it's maybe about a block from a friend of mine's house. So I'm pretty stoked on it. Uh, I'll give you a tour tomorrow about what it's like. Because it's not very expensive either. And I feel like I'm the only one here. Of course, it is about 1 a.m. on a Thursday night. <laughs> I'm staying at the Tuvagao Business Hotel in Zhongshan, which is a little south of the city center, so it's nice and quiet. It's not on a major street. There's no honking horns or anything. So I slept really, really well last night. And it's a unique design, especially for a Chinese hotel. Uh, it's only two stories. It's in an older kind of neighborhood. However, there's some new developments in the neighborhood as well. And it goes along this alley with the rooms that flank both sides of the alleyway. And the decoration is very nice, it's very modern, it's extremely clean. You wouldn't know it from looking at it from the outside. The inside's beautiful. The room is pretty good size, comes with a nice balcony. I've had a double sized bed that's hard, it's a Chinese bed, but I slept okay last night. Typical shower in this room has a nice big tub too.
the rooms are all up on the second floor, and then you head down this alley, and they've got like three or four different restaurants, Japanese, Chinese, they even have a, a spa. So it's well appointed. They also got a, a, a nice gym upstairs too. You know, one of the things that I absolutely love about China is the price. That hotel is about 180 RMB a night. That's in a tier two city near the downtown area and very comfortable. Um, at dinner last night with all the my friends, there was about six of us there, all that food, all that beer. We were there for about three hours. That cost a total of 250 RMB for all of us. Gotta love China. And of course I slept in, so it's time to get some lunch. Today's lunch will be at Man Coffee. If you're not familiar with Man Coffee, this place is awesome. Man Coffee is a little bit more expensive than a Starbucks, but they've got great food and it's definitely worth it. The decor is outrageous. People still smoking here. It's a shame. Yeah, instead of a, like a little nameplate or something for your food, they give you this cute little bear. And on all the tables, everyone has a bear. And that is a bulgogi panini and salad with a latte for about 75 RMB.